The Bear Conductive Touchboard Pro Kit is an easy way to get started building projects using Bear Conductive's electric paint. Now, electric paint is what Bear Conductive calls their electrically conductive paint, and if you haven't played with the stuff, it's pretty cool. It's a carbon and water-based paint, it's water-soluble, cleanup is relatively easy, and the coolest part is that it has a very low resistance once it dries, so you can actually paint traces using this paint, and then you can apply electricity across them and do things like light up LEDs, create circuits on a piece of paper, or in the case of this kit in particular, you can create capacitive touch sensors which can activate sound clips using the Bear Conductive touch board. The touch board is similar to our MP3 trigger board in that you can load up an SD card with sound files and then trigger each of them independently. Although the touch board uses capacitive touch sensing so that all you have to do to trigger each of these sounds is to touch one of these pads or touch a trace that's connected to one of these pads. And you can make those traces using either alligator clips, jumper wires, or of course, conductive paint. Now this kit comes with conductive paint in two different form factors. There is a small pot of conductive paint, which is good for using a brush to create large sensor pads, which works as a proximity sensor. And there's also a small tube of conductive paint, which you can use as a sort of paint pen to create thin traces. Something that's new to this kit in particular is the Proto Shield. This Proto Shield is a response to people wanting a more secure and robust way to connect things to their bare conductive touchboard. Now, the touchboard has always had Arduino compatible headers, but this Proto Shield uses those headers to its advantage so that you can connect it on top like this, and it allows you to connect wires using screw terminals on this side or any of this Proto space over here. Now, you could use just any Arduino compatible Proto Shield, but the nice thing about this one is that it has little cutouts for the power switch and reset button. So it's really designed to work with the form factor of this board in particular, and the kit comes with a header kit for connecting these boards together, as well as all of the screw terminals that you need to populate this side of the board. Along with the alligator clips, the conductive paint, the touch board and the proto board. This kit also includes a roll of copper tape, which is helpful for making long runs without using up all of your paint. And it also comes with this very cool pack of printed sensors. Now these are sensors that you can use as either touch or proximity sensors, and they have actually been pre-printed using conductive paint with a uh, covering over them for the most part, except for these points here where you can connect them using alligator clips. A while ago, Dia and I made a video where we used bare conductive paint and the bare conductive touch board to create interactive wall art in the office. And in doing that project, I learned that bare conductive paint is really cool stuff to work with as long as you know what you're doing. Now, do check out the instruction booklet because they have great instructions on how to thin out the paint and seal the paint and basically do all of the things you would do with normal paint where you have to take a few extra precautions with this if you want it to remain conductive. That being said, it is super awesome stuff and there are very few other products that do what this does, whether you're trying to build a very large interactive wall type project or something small like an electronic greeting card. And this kit is a great way to get started using Bear Conductive's electric paint. And uh, other things that you do with paint, nobody sensor product for uh, mp3 trigger board mp3 now electric paint is their thing that they put in the box for you the touch board to create uh... <laughs> uh.